Welcome to Ubuntu Museum, the African Museum of Humanity. I'm Jackie Mwanza, the founder and workshop leader. We are a social enterprise with a mission to celebrate cultural inclusion within education, the arts and commerce. Our first ever gallery, the Nude Gallery, is a collection of stories and objects exploring the subjects of diversity and inclusion within dance, medical, education and commercial items, e.g. ballet shoes, plasters, crayons, dolls, etc. A brief history of Ubuntu Museum. We launched in 2018 with a tour of five libraries in the borough of Wandsworth, South East London, with a tabletop display. In 2019, we progressed to a pop-up space in a disused shop in Roehampton's Alton Estate in East London. We received over 400 visitors from the local area alone. This May 2020, we were scheduled to present a locally built modular unit designed by Charles Lambert, a Roehampton-based 3D and interior designer, which was to be displayed in Roehampton Library. This, of course, was halted due to the COVID-19 pandemic. So here we are at WAF in your living room with our exhibition trail. So, with the help of our heroine, Imbia, a London-based student from the Democratic Republic of Congo, who is shopping for her niece's sixth birthday, our trail begins. Mbia was invited to her niece's sixth birthday party. She dressed up in a beautiful Katenga outfit and a pair of sparkling blue shoes. On her way to the party, she stopped by her local supermarket to buy her niece a present. She had seen a pretty dark-skinned Barbie doll with Afro hair that reminded her of her niece and her plan to buy it for her. But when she got to the store, she couldn't find it on the shelves and she asked the sales assistant if they had any in the back. I'm sorry, we have sold out of that particular door. Okay, said Imbia disappointedly. Have you got any other dark-skinned Barbies? I'm afraid not, replied the sales assistant. We don't normally stock them. Um, the only dark-skinned doll we have on sale at the moment is... Uh, Disney Princess Mini Toddler Tiana. <sighs> okay, huffed in beer and disappointment. I suppose I have to take that one. On her way to the bus station, she noticed some joke ears in the window of a party shop. She knew her niece would find them funny, but wondered whether they had them in brown to match her skin tone so she could walk into the party wearing them and see how long it would take her niece to notice them. I'm afraid uh, we don't have them in brown, said the sales assistant, but we do have elf ears in brown. Oh, exclaimed Mbia, can I see them? Shop assistant returned hurriedly with a pair of elf ears. Uh, here you go. Okay, um, I suppose they look funny too, said Mbia. I'll take them. On her way out of the shop, Mbia saw her bus coming and decided to run after it. She managed to catch it, but once she was seated down, she noticed a little cut on her foot, which was now bleeding. Ah, oh, I wonder when that happened, she said to herself. I must stop by the chemist and get some plasters. Her bus stopped very near a chemist and she headed straight for the plasters. She managed to find some transparent plasters and as soon as she paid for them, she opened the box and applied one to her cut. Unfortunately, the white patch that covered her cut showed up so clearly against her dark skin, so she decided to look for a pair of flesh skin tights to hide the plaster. There were no tights that matched her skin tone. They were all too light and Mbia didn't want to ruin her outfit. Where can I get flesh skin tights to match my skin tone? She thought to herself. And just then the phone rang. Hi, Mbia, said the voice over the phone. Are you on your way? Yes, sis. I'm at the chemist trying to find a pair of flesh tone tights, she replied. You're not going to find any there. I have to travel all the way to Brixton to get mine. Look, I've got a spare pair here. Come quickly, we need your help with decorations. Okay, replied Mbia. I'll be there in five minutes. When Mbia got to her sister's house, she found her niece doing some colouring. Happy birthday, darling, Mbia said as she gave her niece a big hug. Thank you, auntie, replied her niece. Did you get me a new dolly? Maybe, replied Mbia. You'll have to wait until everyone comes with all your other presents. And what are you colouring? 
I'm colouring an emoji of myself, replied her niece. Ah, it's very good. It looks just like you. And where did you get these Crayola Multicultural Crayons? I've never seen these before. Mummy got them online. She said when she was little, many, many, many years ago, you could only get the colour for white skin. <laughs> yes, Mbia laughed. That's true. Many, many, many years ago, when I was your age, I used to mix that colour with a brown crayon to try to make it look like me, said Mbia. Ah, said her niece. At that moment, Mbia's sister walked in with a box of flesh-coloured tights for her. Here you go, and takes a box of these. What? Brown plasters? Mbia exclaimed. No way! Where did you get those from? Online! shouted Mbia's sister and niece in unison. They all laughed. You know, I might just change my plaster. It's way too hot for tights today, said Mbia. But I'm still taking the tights. It's now time for the quiz. We have six questions. Good luck.